All right, first job for me is delivering a load of logs to a customer up in the town. Uh, second job, actually, so no, about a third or fourth job for me is delivering logs to a customer in town. And then the next job is to de deliver another load of logs to my dad. He's nearly out. I've already done the first two or three jobs first thing this morning, which is basically sorting out cattle. But we did that yesterday, so we'll try and do something different today. Right, so yeah, logs, logs, probably tree team, and then something else. So another frost this morning, not a heavy, hard one, but enough to freeze up windscreens on cars and stuff, so I had to defrost my wife's car before she went to work this morning. Um, and that was after she dealt with another scammer trying to scam us or get our credit card details. Unfortunately for the scammer, Mrs. P answered the phone. And even at seven o'clock in, in the morning, she's pretty on the ball and sussed them straight out. So, um, yeah. Uh, right. They're quite small logs, but that might suit better. Right, we're back. Um, delivered my load of logs up into town. Come back, had my breakfast, entertained my brother for half an hour. Um, bit in the office, back outside again now. It's quarter past 11 in the morning. Dad mentioned yesterday that his log pile was getting a bit low, so I said I'd fill it up for him. So I think it is going to be that one. Right, let's go and get the skid steer, get it loaded up, pump the bar uh, tire up on the wheelbarrow because that's flat again, and then drive over to his place and then barrow it all in for him. He can't do it, so yeah. It'll be my turn one day. Just a quick check on these guys, make sure everybody near is happy. Comfy, not hungry. You've made a little bit of a mess in there, but then Wednesday, probably a job for this afternoon that is, give them a bit of a refresh. Same with these guys here, although actually that didn't look too bad either. And you've got enough grub, yeah. I'm gonna worry about the cattle for this afternoon. So this morning, just dad. You coming? Come on in. Right, I've got to bring another bag down here. I've got somebody driving out from Bristol tonight for a bag of logs. And they want to come out and fill their Berlingo up. So I said, well, no, if that's what you want to do, if that's really what you want to do, then you can do that. So come on, you. You're, you're looking the wrong way. You're right there.
little lifting loop down there, look. So, right, nice and dry. Uh, the last lot I tested of this was on, I can't remember, it was 15 or 16 percent. So, uh, yeah, so to my mind, that's about right for a log burner. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, don't like being lifted down, Dad. It's almost like it's an indignancy, you know. How dare you pick me up and lift me down. I'll jump. Well, no, I don't want you breaking your blinking leg, so you won't jump. Okay, right. Pump up tire wheelbarrow. Good to be dads. Right, I know I saw it. There he is. Yeah. Nothing a bit of wind won't sort out. That's me blowing up a wheelbarrow tire. I'm multitasking. Yeah. Yeah. Alright mate. Well if I get if I do hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Cheers mate. Bye. Bye bye. That's uh, it's Dave bringing me up about our secret thing we did the other day. So it's not very secret. We're just not talking about it. So it's a bit secret. Right, that's the barrow on there. I just had a thought. So we've started using a couple of old... Um, do you remember we had some uh, paving put down for Julia's new veranda? And the paving comes in like... Well, they're knocked up wooden boxes, crates. But they are just the job. Two of those crates will hold... Not level, you have to overflow a little bit. Two of those crates will hold one of those bags. So, uh, yeah, I haven't got a spare one I thought we did. Stack it on the pallet. Again. What? 
What do you want to tell me? Hey? What do you want? Is it something perhaps in there that you want? Is that what you're saying? Is it? There ain't much left in there. Here you go then. That's a lot, I'm afraid. It's all gone. I have to fill it up again. So. But then, that's lasted that full jar. I think I filled that up at the beginning of the year, so it's not like she gets a lot of treats, but I don't know what it is about my dad's. So it's just been in dropped off logs we dag. I don't know what it is about here, but every time she leaves here, she demands a biscuit. So, doesn't always get it, just sometimes. Right, I think we're going to go back, call in and see the lads quickly. It will be quickly though, because it is lunchtime. And then back home, have my lunch. Um, and then this afternoon, I forgot what I'm doing. This afternoon I'm doing something. And then when I've done that, oh, I'll go look at tree job. And then when I've done that, then we're going to go and bed out the cows. So, bull and the uh, steers are okay, but the cows could do with just a, a fresh scatter of straw on top. So, I'm not going to muck out this time, it's just going to be a, a fresh scatter on top. So, that's all they need today. Right, we're just going to call in to of Court Hotel and see the guys. So, I know quite a few of you folks um, have been and stayed in this place, um, partially on, apparently, the recommendations of Mrs. P and I. It is, if you're, if you're staying up around uh, Woodland Dredge, anywhere between Bristol and Gloucester, and you want somewhere nice to stay, um, and you don't mind paying for nice, this is the place. Right, so our guys are on hedge trimming duty, but not, not this beach hedge. Who no, knew? No, that'd be far too easy. No, we're doing the tall hedge, the big green one. Was oh, it squirrels? This is squirrel territory. Biscuit lunch thing, you. So, yeah. So we're working on this guy here. It is a tall, tall hedge. Can you reach across it with a pole saw? Could you drop stuff at? It might stay on top. Eh? Well, better off asking Martin. Martin's been up there. All right, okay. I just spotted that one round there. You seen this? The Melanie fungus. That's not good news. Okay, so, so yeah, that's 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 door open, dog in, Martin's sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Have you? Yeah. yeah, well, she's open to finish off the rest of Martin's. <laughs> so. Well, put a bit of in there, that make you fart, would Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, so we got this side all right, it's just getting to this side, isn't it? It's the last with the half. Could you reach across with the pole saw and get it if you um if you could drop it to the side? Possibly, but it's okay. I reckon it's gonna get stuck up in there. Yeah. So you cut it. Yeah, oh Arthur's already he's, he's gone by the way, yeah. Oh Arthur, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they contacted him yesterday and said they would put cones in me, so I said don't cut anything, they put the bloody cones in or anything like that, just in case though. Yeah. I'm against it, I'm sorry. What the right, okay. Well, you think you want to skin that on your side, isn't it? Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> well, that'd make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? If you could do that, so. Yeah, so the problem we got here is we can't drop anything over either side of the fence and we can't go out there. So it, even if we did drop anything, we can't recover it. And we can't cut stuff up there that could get jammed up there in case it falls down and clouts anybody this side of this event. So we've got a bit of a logistic issue here. I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with it. Yet. Anyway, this is the front grounds of Torquef Court Hotel. It's basically an arboretum. So we like it up here.
You. Come on. In you go. All right, that's the bit we've done. That's where we got to go. All week. Take them. All right, should go through the in and out. You're about to run out of battery, so you're not going to catch all of this. So if you can have as much. Is there a cone there? I think there's a cone there. There is a cone there. I only run over my own cone. So, uh, yeah, the boss here is um, Harry Potter fan. Harry Potter fans will get it. There's the grand front. Not a bad place to go just for a cup of tea, actually. You could do that. Go in there, cup of tea. Slice of cake. There's the orangery. No squirrels yet. We'll probably find a squirrel just as the uh, camera runs out of battery and then you'll miss the dog going ballistic trying to get out through the glass. Oh, here he is. There's a squirrel. There he is. Look, there he is. Just there. 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 There he is. He <laughs> was a squirrel. Did you see that squirrel? <laughs> Oh well, I couldn't stay in linger because I got a car behind me, but yeah, and it's teasing the dog in it. So, any more? Seems cross. Is this left here for me, Holes? What? Is that left there for me? Is that little pan left there for me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mandy, not me. Oh, all right. Okay. Right. <coughs> Right, Mrs. P's at work today, and she's left me to my own devices to do my own dinner. So she gave me a choice, what did I want? I told her. <sighs> Having a farmer pee fit it. Right, Holly's got something in the oven, and That's beef pie mix. Can I um, bung my roll in with your... Pardon? Can I bung my roll in on top of your, just to yeah. warm it up? Yeah. yeah? Okay. I didn't want to just presume, even though it's my cooker. You know. Yeah. Well, it's your pie fillings are, so... Hey. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Pies. Right, I don't think I want all that. Maybe... Yeah, that much. Uh, about there? Yeah. And what we'll do, we'll slit him down that way as well. So, I have a certain way I like my steak, my fillet steak. So, and it involves bread. Right, you can just go and warm up in there for five minutes. And, uh, where is it? On. There you go. Back and warm warm a second. And as soon as that's hot, we'll give it that. So, I don't like my steak, especially a fillet, too well done. It's only a small one. So, um, yeah, it's not going to stay in the pan for very long. Minute-ish. Almost there. I don't actually think the pan was hot enough. It wasn't. So, yeah, I jumped the gun a bit there. Oh well, never mind. It's still gonna be delicious, and it's still gonna be better than your fillet steak.
Mm -mm -mm. We're just washing that colour down for the middle there. Not too much. Nearly there. Still blue in the middle. Go on, poke it again. Almost. That was just about to do, I reckon. We'll let that rest. Right, that is one very hot red raw. Plenty of butter. I know it's not real butter, but it's, you know, it's what we got. Bit of that. Some of this. A smidge of that. Slither this. Little bit of that. On there. Followed by my little friend. Bon appetit. My bad. I forgot, sorry Mark. I got another bag of logs to deliver. I've forgotten all about it. So, a uh, good mate of mine up in the town said to me all a couple of weeks ago, oh, when you remember Ian, drops in a bag of logs. I said, yeah, no worries mate, I'll do that. Leave it with me. About a week ago, he reminded me, he said, did you forget my logs? I said, yeah. Yeah, I did mate, sorry about that. Don't worry, I'll get it sorted for you. Got a text message about an hour ago. Um, Ian, don't want to be a pain in the ass, but it's like, I'll do it this afternoon. It's happening. And yeah, now it is happening. Not that bag. That one's already got an owner. Another bag. So we've got to go and do that, and then we'll come and play with these guys. Steamed up, look at that. That's better. Mm, still a bit steamed up. Right, let's go and deliver these logs. Right, I think you've probably got enough for today. You'll want one definitely tomorrow morning, fairly early. But yeah, I'm not doing another one this afternoon. Well, half past three. It won't be long before evening. It feels like evening. It's getting dark already and cold. Hence the hat. Right, I'm going to get changed, put some overalls on, and we'll get and kick some straw back in there. 
I see the uh, green waste pile is growing. Another load in today. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might have to put the shredder again. Shred on. Start that again, yeah. I'm kind of thinking I might have to put the shredder on again before Christmas. Right, how much you've got in there? You've actually still got quite a lot in your feeder too. So that's now on about half full. So I don't think, um, I don't think we're gonna have to give them that. So tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, we're gonna be feeding both sides. Your bed's okay. Your bed's not bad, but we've got a little bit of straw left in there, a couple of flaps left in there. We're just gonna scatter that over the top just as a bit of a freshen up, and that'll do for tonight, and then probably muck out both sides tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. It looks better, doesn't it? I'll probably eat half of it and then crap on the rest. That would be normal. Done. Right, I've just come up to grab a piece of string to tie up a water pipe that I see they've hit out again. So, uh, in fairness, the string holding it up has probably been there a couple of years. Light's still shining. Um, so, this is a, just an offshoot of our water pipe that goes to this tank. So, I've left it there in case I ever need to put a tap on there or something. So, I could have just put a, an elbow, but no, I was far too clever for that. But the cat will keep teasing that out, and I don't want him taking the cap off there. Cause I'll end up with a flood. That would be bad. So what we'll do is we'll just tie them back out the way again with more string. In fact, plenty of string. So, because you know what cattle are like with string. They will tease it and they will chew it and they will, you know, they will just ruin it. What? Right. So now for a granny knot that hopefully a cow can't undo. I'll have a damn good try. looking at it he's already looking at it going oh, I'm gonna chew that in a minute as soon as his back's turned I'm in there and I'm chewing it you devil tell me you're not looking at it you are look at him he's looking at that going second your back's turned mate yeah. that's one of our newest heifers so. what are you whinging about You're not hungry, your bed's okay, you've got a cracking view. Just, there are just some creatures that just like to moan. So. Right, well, I think while i got five minutes, I'm gonna take the pallet forks off. <laughs> you silly pair. I'm gonna take the pallet forks off the of skids here. Guys have bought back. Two or three loads of uh, Leylandi chip today, and it's starting to spill out into the yard. So I'll go and push it up, tidy the place up a little bit. So it's Wednesday today, which means that tomorrow is Thursday. So if Marley remembers, by this time tomorrow. We might be doing this in New Holland. Skids here. 
Navy, France. Cyprus. It just smells alright. Here we are, that's that done. We have to find a home for that long for long. I haven't really got room for it in the big barn yet. We haven't sold enough. There's enough space to start bringing that in. So for the time being it's gotta stay out. It doesn't matter because none of that's gonna get sold till next year. Um, this time next year even. So in some ways, it's probably wise to keep it completely separate. Uh, now they can't sell a wet bag, point mistake. We need the pallet approach later on, so I might as well put them back on now. Done. That is probably all the video I'm going to get done today. It is getting dark fast and for some reason the GoPro 10 seems to like low light even less than the old GoPro 8. So yeah, someone did mention about sending the old GoPro 8 off for refurb and I may well do that. I've had a quick look online. There seems to be a lot of people who do it but most of them are um, repair. All I actually need is the rubber bits over the buttons replacing. So, I don't know, we'll see. I would like to have the old GoPro 8 back. It's, I prefer it to that huge, monstrous, great thing. So, Right, so, on that note, I'm gonna bid you all good night, or good morning, or good afternoon, or good after, whatever it is with you. Um, have a good one, see you tomorrow.